Univision, making memories last. Some of them are structural, some of them are just on an individual basis. 
um, the person's race, sexuality, gender, uh, what clothes they're wearing, their creed, and so forth. And normally when we get into interactions, these are prob probably like the barriers or the premises under which we, we engage in. And obviously most of these are, are visionary, or they are unfounded, or they're just really, really stupid. If we can overcome these barriers and, on a general basis, interact with humans on a very authentic way, where I express myself, my feminine self, with my background and patriarchy, coming to learn about things, and you as an individual, making eye contact, wanting to know what you're about, and engaging on that level, you translate that directly into the bedroom, where it's authentic, it's real, where you're not scared to show your pictures and what you've experienced, and be real about it. I think that's quite an interesting way to move forward in terms of Know, how you express yourself sexually, you express yourself in terms of how you interact with people. In a sense, so I think a lot of the time we think that it takes a step forward, you want to have sex, yes, let's go, let's go, great stuff. But a lot of the time, how often does it happen that way? How often does someone come to you and say, listen, I'm dating you, I'm about to do this, do you want to? <laughs> But I think when it comes to issues of consent, there's a general feeling around whether you're heterosexual, lesbian, or any other, if, if you have any, if you identify yourself as any type, any other type of sex. And I think for me, interesting, um, um, conversations about consent are so important because they go up to the core of everything. So, one thing that I'm always back with was and that I would speak on the issue of guilt, and I don't think it's only guilt after sex. It's guilt during sex. It's saying it's not saying to someone, stop, because you've already said, said yes to it. But when you say yes to someone and give consent, are you giving your power away? Are you giving your power away? The question is that when you're with a person, and say it's a, it's a male and a female, and the male is about to enter you, why can't you say no? It's important to understand the issues of consent because it's not just about saying yes. It's about how you're going to feel as an individual afterwards. It's about your own sexual safety. It's about how you navigate um, sexual pleasure. And this is where a concept comes in as well. Consent. In relationships, consent has to be, in many relationships, consent is a very big problem. You're in a relationship with someone and you say to them, listen, I actually want to start being honest with you. And they go, back on you. So they <laughs> jam. <laughs> when did it come to that point? When did we start extracting safety from sex? And when did it come to us come about trusting somebody and letting somebody in? I think the fact that you, you let somebody in your space and have sex with them is already a sign of trust to some degree.